guy's having a cursed dick measuring. Are you serious? Itadori! Huh? Time to run. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka Random Black Gamer, aka Chapter Black, aka Static Shock. Here with my girl Johnny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where we react to things that we ain't seen and you guys recommend to us. And we are so appreciative that you guys recommended Jujutsu Kaisen to us because we had a blast watching that. We watched episodes one and two, and they were off the chain. Man, Johnny Lee, go ahead and tell me what you thought about that. Oh, um, well, I liked it quite a bit. <coughs> I liked it so much. But I actually wanted to just watch it anyway without doing a reaction to it. But I was like, no, I got to give the people what they want, man. Yeah, that's one of the things that's like crippling about doing reactions when you're dedicated to the audience and you have to kind of do things on their terms instead of on your own. Because when a show is so good, guys, you just want to binge through that shit, especially when you have access to all these episodes that have come out since 2020, which is a blessing for us because we get to see things without having to wait on a weekly basis. Because this show has some top tier animation. MAPPA is one of the best companies out there when it comes to doing animation. And they're actually a derivative of Madhouse because the owner of MAPPA actually is one of the co-founders of Madhouse, which is awesome, man. You know, that, that legacy continues to just move on into other areas. And this show right here, what I like about this show, it has all the different elements that I like from dark fantasy kind of, not dark fantasy, but more along the lines of like, um, I want to say spiritual shit going on like that. Uh, that school element mm -hmm. that I love because, man, rival schools. It's this fighting game that has all these different school kids from different mm -hmm. like classes and stuff like that. And they have all their own abilities. And this is giving me that vibe mixed with a little bit of Tenjo Tenji, if you guys are familiar with that series. Except better. This is what Tenjo Tenji should have been. And we have this main character named Itadori who is uh, supposedly a guy that has like a high cursed energy count. You know, he has this cursed energy which gives him supernatural abilities, makes his strength and everything heightened. So that's cool, you know, like it was a little confusing at first mm -hmm. because you think that these things are gonna be called demons, but apparently they're called curses. Like they're called cursed spirits or something like that. And uh, apparently this demon, this top tier demon by the name of Sukuna, his fingers are just scattered about all 20 of them because he has four arms, so he has 10 fingers, you know, so it's it's interesting seeing how they're going to do this, like with uh, this Itadori character, because basically he's on death row. Yeah, it's like they told him, you know, you're, basically we can kill you now or you can die later, which one you want. So, yeah, he's yeah. just waiting to die yeah it's it's so weird how he's just instantly on death row and they're just telling him that he's gonna die but on the same token they didn't tell him to eat the finger that's one of the reasons why he's gonna yeah. die because he ate sakuna's finger which looked nasty as shit but he felt like he just really wanted to save his friends and he was just listening to his granddad's last words of you know yeah do something for other people even if it hurts you yeah and it's almost like his dad or his granddad had a premonition that he was gonna die anyway because he was going to tell Itadori something about his parents. And I'm thinking, I'm going to make my guess now. I'm placing my wages now. Itadori has a long-standing legacy with Sakuna, which is why he's able to tolerate Sakuna and actually control him from time to time. I'm saying that now. You know, but yeah. other than Itadori, we got other characters that are basically up in this alumni. We have... Um, uh, Fushiguro, which is like um, a first-year student. He's the guy that has something called the Shikigami, which is basically like these familiars mm -hmm. that are basically like partners. He kind of puts me in the mind of V from Devil May Cry or somebody who's a stand user from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Mm -hmm. So he's going to basically be the rival to Itadori. And you also have Gojo, who is uh, one of the higher tier members. He's basically like a teacher up in the Tokyo Jutsu High School. Mm -hmm. And you have that principal who basically had a Build-A-Bear death shop. <laughs> he was giving, he was giving Itadori all kinds of to go to to go plates, man. Like he was fucking him up. Just that little jelly bean thing. Yeah, was man, beating that, him down. I was like, boy, if you can't even beat this jelly bean up, we got a problem. Exactly, that thing was showing its ass off, literally and figuratively. But yeah, guys, I'm we are really enjoying this, and we hope to keep watching this. But without further ado, without getting all this recap shit out of the way, let's go ahead and get into episode three, which is titled. Girl of Steel. Let's do this.
Didn't you say I was the third first year? The other's admission was decided a while ago. You know what our school's like? Everyone has unique circumstances. Sorry for the wait. Oh. I don't know why he reminds me of Mr. Arzawa. Yeah, it fits great. He do. He kind of that blindfold and that kind of cool persona. Yeah. And that's because the uniforms can be custom. That's a two B from uh, Mier Antomino's baby daddy. Put in any requests. You're right. Oh, I definitely know who that is. Custom order. Uh, you, you'll see her one day. Oh. Are you on the clock right now? No, not right now. That's great. You see, I'm looking for potential models. That's what I do. Would you be interested? Sir, if you don't find yourself some business, right away from me. That's actually how it goes down in Japan. Like you have scouts looking for models to porn stars. Oh boy. Her? For that modeling game. She looked better than that. Thank God her skirt is at a reasonable length. That was going to bother me. Don't run. Come out and say what you think. Wait, she's the one we have to go and talk to? No, but what I was saying, she looked better than the other girl. She that did. looks delish. Yeah, so are you. It is like an ice cream burrito. We gotta go to Japan. Right, I'd like you to meet... Nobara Kugisaki. You should be honored, boys. I'm your group's girl. What do you think? You think there's gonna be somebody's love interest? Uh, she might. She might. Go ahead and skip that. She seems like that hard kind of, I don't take no mess kind of girl. She will knock the shit out of you in an instant. And that always ends up being somebody's love interest. Yeah. From Sendai. Fushiguro. He looks like a potato. <laughs> <laughs> the type that ate his own buggers as a kid. <laughs> and just his name? I can't stand high and mighty dudes. <laughs> she can read them like a book. Or else like seagulls on fire. Oh, this is what I get to work with? Great, just my luck. She took one look inside. That can't be good. Are we going somewhere from here? <laughs> well, we do have all three of you together. And since two of you kids are from the countryside, that means we're going to Tokyo. Tokyo! 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 Let's go. Tokyo! Huh? <laughs> Just that damn um Fast and Furious music starts playing that Tokyo Drift. Right. If you quiet down, I'll announce our destination. Rapongi. Rapongi. Y'all get to be in the ghetto part. For real. So it's some kind of abandoned Yakuza building. Girl, you better hit that MC Hammer. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> just think of this as a kind of field test. If you look at it, you're basically have a curse already. Cursed energy flows through your body. Although, controlling that energy isn't something you can learn overnight. So use this. Is that a machete? The slaughter demon. A weapon imbued with cursed energy, so it'll work on curses too. Got Roman Reigns armpit hair equipped to it and everything. I was gonna oh, say Rikishi's armpit here. Mm. Don't let Sukuna out, okay? If you use him, you'll get Sukuna, I was right. Yeah, you said Sukuna. It's, no, I didn't. You said Sukuna. It's Sukuna. Whatever. Su 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 Would you hurry up? What a pain in my ass. I come all the way to Tokyo and still have to deal with dumb curses. Huh? You didn't come here to exercise them? Let's save some time. You and I should split up. I'll start from the top and investigate floor by floor. You start from the bottom. Let's knock this out and grab some sushi and pizza. Hold on a minute. Let's take this seriously. Curses Boy, are dangerous. Boy, I want some more sushi already. I do too. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I don't want to hear it from someone who last week was a clueless normie. Now get moving. Huh. Oh, it looks like Midori shoes. You're out of control. <laughs> they do. Talk, bitch. 
Mm. Nice. It's intensifying. So he was a former employee turned curse. Mm. Slash and gash cut a hole in his ass. That was a good one. Got that from a popular movie in the past. Of course you didn't make that up yourself. Hmm. Let's see what she got. Let's go. What up, though? Yeah, you. Mannequin in the center. You actually think you're hidden there? I'll do this from here. Look, Kukizaki has experience, right? So it's a little late for that now. As we know, curses are born from human minds. Ooh. So their strength of numbers grow in proportion to the population. Tim the Tool Man Taylor's daughter. Mm. Bro. Better hit that knee on him. <laughs> Matrix reloaded. Kind of makes sense that there's a higher population. They just hit the goosebumps on us. You saw that? That's that goosebumps title screen right there, y'all. Before my time. <laughs> I know. Tokyo curses are on a different level than those in the countryside. Man, that's he ain't from Yu Yu Hakusho. Show. Right. <laughs> Mm. Break it. One of them probably moved. Oh. It's more than one. Oh, it's a little kid. A little Miata. What if the kid is a curse and she has to kill the kid? Hey. Ain't no tell. I would be surprised. Come here, why didn't you come here? Exactly. Boy, that couldn't have been me. The weapon bring on. I had to tell him something get him out that corner. Don't you kill this baby. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna make me mad. Don't you dare think that way. I'm unarmed now. Let the boy go. I'm such an idiot. Why would she even think you can negotiate with a fucking silly slammer? Then there's one of them things you find at the Walmart toy aisle that you squeeze and the eyes pop out. Alright, yeah, like one of them trolls. It's literally a troll. Ooh! Ain't none of that shit. Thank God he was there because she exactly. failed! I thought she was going to show up and show out, but she's just. You okay, bud? All attitude and boobs. Mm. 
Mm. You thought. <laughs> For real. They did this shit. I like that. Good teamwork. Yet Salary was ostracized by the villagers. She thinks us country folk are dumb, they said. They got swept up in their own paranoia. And in the end, they drove around. Is that a woman? What do you mean? Is that a woman or a kid? Well, it's a village. woman. Or... Looks like a baby. Hi. What the fuck? Did she get turned into a I doll? You. I said it's dangerous to go alone and you need to take it seriously. Except you never said it was dangerous to go alone. I... Wait, I didn't? And dude, what have you been eating that lets you punch through a wall with your bare hand? <laughs> it wasn't reinforced concrete. So? Most people couldn't punch through that. <laughs> you really don't think so? I mean, they are aware that he has a cursed energy, so. For you, like, why did you come? So you want to hear stronger skill sets? Why am I here? Because the countryside sucked, and I always wanted to live in Tokyo. This was the only way a poor girl like me could move to the city without worrying about money. You'd risk your life to save a few bucks. I would. Huh? Since it means being true to myself. If I had stayed in that village, I'd be as good as dead. She might be a little girl, or that woman, or that chick was a little girl. Saori. I made it to Tokyo. If we ever meet here... Take me to that bakery you mentioned. I've never had one of those before. I'd never have either. I wonder if it's just like one of those creamy <laughs> melt in your mouth. If you hadn't been here, and he or I had been killed, the future wouldn't be so bright. So I kind of never want to try him, because if I end up liking well, him, it's not going to go well. So go straight baby Yoda on him. Giving you my thanks already. We're even now. What is wrong with her? I live over there. What the fuck were you doing in that building in the first place? Being though? bad. I don't know what it is about kids going in a place that look ominous. When are you not in a bad mood? That place looks like I could get killed there. Let's go. Right. At least go with friends. Home. Now, how about we grab some food? I'll be damned if I'm gonna go on a fetch quest for a brat. Just leave it all to me. He gonna take them somewhere broke down. Oh, you already know. Huh? Okay, let's go. Oh, I forgot about my biggest haul of the day. Hey, you! Go fetch my things. Huh? Why should I do that? I thought we were even now. We won thanks to my cursed energy. Girl, sit down. You almost got us caught up. Exactly, girl. Strength you get from eating weird shit. It's not just from that, right, Fushiguro? Huh, Fushiguro? What's the matter? Nothing. He's pouting because he didn't get to fight. <laughs> Poor little baby. <laughs> Sorry, Bushy Scout. Log, July twenty eighteen. West Tokyo City, Eishu Juvenile Detention Center. In the sky above the exercise yard. Hey! What is that? What's what? Unnamed episode. Them some rough looking juveniles. <laughs> right, they look dumb as rocks. Oh wow. Talking about. A fetus baby. See nature. Three jujutsu. A fetus baby. Like a fetus curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Died. 
All right, guys, that was episode three, The Girl of Steel. And what a fitting name for this character because she seems like she's going to have some steel-based attacks in the form of a hammer and nails. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I like how they did that. Yeah, man, that was dope, man. We're getting a chance to see these characters really rock out. Mainly Itadori and this new chick who I can't remember her name. Um, Nobuda? Nobuda, Nobuda, or whatever her name is. I'm not even going to try. Yeah. Kujizaki. Kujizaki. But yeah, you know, it seems like this class is just getting familiar with each other and actually training and stuff like that. Obviously, Fuji, uh, Fushi, Fushigaru. Well, well, what, wait. <laughs> Fushiguro. <laughs> uh, whatever his name is, he has the most training. He's the most skilled. So, you know, it's obvious that they would want to train, um, uh, damn it. The other two children. It's, it's a dirty. It's a dirty, man. These people are going to kill me for just butchering their favorite character. That's names. why I don't even try because I'm like, look, I'd rather you talk about me for not saying a name than talk about me for butchering it. So Yeah, but nonetheless, I think I'm kind of noticing a pattern here because you remember in the first episode when that curse that was taken over the school, he was saying, what time is it or something like that? Something tells me, and they probably already explained this in detail in the first episode. I probably wasn't paying attention, but when they have these random curses coming in there, basically like the manifestation of people that were there before just in the form yeah, of human that's form what I was getting to, and know. they're basically just running around repeating things except they're in this curse form and it oh. seems like those curses that were up in that building were actually employees because one of them was asking for a receipt right. so that's really that's really interesting you know it's cool how they have that but yeah man i give this episode a low b what do you give it that part where what's his name again which one, Itadori or? Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah Itadori. One. When he bust through the wall, that really, I was like, oh. <laughs> I knew he was going to have to fix it. Yeah. I give this a, a, a high B. Cool. Or maybe just a flat B. Just a, a, a B. Just a B. A flat B. So there you have it, guys. But without further ado, man, let's go ahead and hop into episode, what is it, four? Which is titled... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I got to skip off the screen. But let me go ahead and get into this before this camera cuts off. I uh, have a question. What is this window? It's an in-house term for unique members of Jujutsu Tech who can see curses. But they aren't sorcerers. Oh, okay. Let's continue. Detainee Block 2. At present, five detainees are still inside, along with the curse womb. If the curse womb is the type that metamorphos, we predict it will become a special grade curse spirit. Special, special grade? grade? It's going to be like an S tier or an A tier. I don't really understand what this special grade means. Mm. <sighs> All right. Allow me to explain at <laughs> idiot level. First, there's grade four. A wooden bat is enough for them. Grade three, if you have a handgun, you can rest easy. Grade two, close call with a shotgun. Grade one, even a tank may be insufficient. Then special grade. Well, you might be on even footing if you carpet bomb it with cluster bombs. That is bad. Normally... A sorcerer on par with the cursed spirit would handle this. I like that. <laughs> right. That would have been good. That was helpful. That figure. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the grading system for you. You have to show demons. Please do not disregard your fears. And don't forget that your entire mission here today is strictly the verification and rescue of survivors. Excuse me, sir. Tell me. Where's my son? Stay back, ma'am. You can't come in here. Move back, please. There he is, right us. there. I need to know if my son Tadashi is all right. The son is most likely going to be please the damn cursed man, man, monster or some shit. She's a guardian here for a visit. <laughs> please leave, madam. It's possible that someone may have released poisonous gas in the compound. I'm afraid we can't share any more details at this time. Oh, no. I can imagine how she would be feeling though. You have a little compassion. Fushiguro, Kugasaki. We'll save them. Of course. Hmm. Let's do it with the power of Jutsu. That's probably the character you're gonna like the least, because he doesn't have very much personality. Oh no, it's like if he has cool powers that really just showcase everything and he actually develops more, I will like him. There's a residential area nearby. But I love the Conceal us from those on the outside. That's cool. Moron. This is like some X shit. They got territories. Her guy he had those dogs. Shikigami, man. Shishomaru. 
No, oh, good boy, buddy. Go ahead and say your favorite line. You know we're all counting on you. Go ahead and say it. Inuyasha, daddy. Let's go. But I told you, it's Shomaru. It's not Inuyasha's daddy. So this is not Inuyasha's daddy, but that other one on uh, Deep... Uh, damn, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Black Clover is... What's going on here? I thought this was only a two-story dorm building, isn't it? Well, uh, maybe it's a condo. Chill out. No, it's not. It's the deployment of an innate domain due to cursed energy. I've never seen one this big before. The door! Huh? It's going. Oh, impossible! No way! We just came through that door a second ago! Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the door for power is the scent of the entrance. That's how I said it. He has heightened sense and he's a supernatural being. <laughs> he's so cute. Stop playing around! <sighs> Your son probably gone, ma'am. Horrible. Looks like three victims, right? Where's Tadashi? I need to know if my son Tadashi is all right. Let's take this body back with us. Huh? This is that woman's son. Damn, that woman, like, she had, like, a younger son. Like, she didn't say she was up in the 80s like this. That's why I said. These juveniles, these are kids, though. This is a juvenile facility. I know, but that doesn't look like a kid, like a man. That's what I'm saying. These are some rough-looking juveniles. Behind. That makes no sense. The way we got inside isn't even there anymore. We won't be able to come back for it later. I didn't say we'd come back. I said leave it behind. Huh? I'm not about to risk my own life for someone I had no intention of saving in the first place. Tadashi here hit and killed a little girl on her way home from school while driving without a license. Yep, he needs to be up in there. <laughs> and that was his second offense. <laughs> I know you're keen on this idea of saving lots of people and guiding them to proper deaths. But think, how are you going to feel when someone you save goes on to kill someone else later? He has a point. He does. Why'd you bother saving me then? You both need to They both have a good point. <sighs> What the hell is wrong with the two of you? Are you guys both idiots? This is hardly the time and place to be acting like- Uh-oh. Cookie. Trying to get these two clowns together. She done fell through the goddamn floor. Right. These guys are having a cursed dick measuring- Are you serious? Itadori! Huh? Time to run! Are you fucking- Can he manifest another one? Bruh. This is- No mistaking it. What? Not the dog! Hey, that is an ugly ass demon. Or curse, as they call it. Are you fucking serious? Dory. Bro, summon Sakuna so he can regenerate that shit. Like, this demon is on a whole nother level of ass kicking. Okay, so he has all kinds of familiars, all kind of partners. Ooh, you better do that. Bro, it's like it never ceases to amaze me. Don't you die on me! Someone said they got rotoscoping animation in this shit. Not when I've gotten this close. Hey Sukuna, if I die here, then you die too, right? So you have to help me out. Not true. Even if the part of me that's inside you dies, there are 18 other fragments of my soul still out there. Anybody else gonna be dumb enough to eat him like me, though? Control of this body. So if you want to switch, go ahead and switch. But once you do, I'll kill this punk sorcerer before the cursed spirit can. You better do something, cause this dude ain't playing. He better get his hand back. That's not your chance. And he better get that dog back. So I'm telling me Sakuna is gonna help him regenerate. <laughs> Fushiguro! Fushiguro! Find Kugisaki and get her out of here! I'll stay here and keep this one busy, at least until you get down! Happy whippy do some kind of signal! I'll switch bodies with Sukuna. Demon dogs! It's just one, that's the other one. And I thought the black ones always died first. Down to my last one already. <laughs> I 
guess I should have brought a few more of them along with me. Oh wow, so when she uses one, that's it. Yeah, she got a good supply. Okay. It done took off. He's a part time clothes. stripper and a murderer. Part time gigolo. Oh you ain't gonna be able to buy shit. With, a, with that refoking. This is a good episode. What the hell was that? That was a I wasn't ready. <sighs> Bruh, switch. Go ahead and tag in right now. God. Where is the adult? You're not. Ah, oh, bruh. If you don't switch, fingertips evaporated. <laughs> He over here fighting a stripper clown. Right, he got the uh the car stance from uh he JoJo. Did. Yeah. No. Not like this. Not like this. Bro, your gaming days are over. He can game with his toes. <laughs> Ain't none of this. Was that he got Jay? No. That must be the signal from Bushy Girl. There we go. It's like he knows what's up. Incredible. Yeah, it's me, your worst nightmares. Incredible. What a pain this brat is. It's obvious he's just screwing around with me. Hold on a minute. I'm thinking here. What I need is some way to make him regret doing all of this. Nah. If I went after him, the punk would just switch right back. So the thing that would cause him the most trouble is probably this. I'll just. Do you tag team with the motherfucker? Alright, let's go kill some kids. Follow me. Uh, I tell you. <laughs> Idiot. Ah. Huh? Oh shit, I healed his other hand too. <laughs> but you didn't want to? To take walks? Well, that's true. Cursed spirits aren't usually supposed to stay where they're born. Fine, fine. In that case, you will die here. Hey, what's the matter? You're not finished already, are you? Stop him out. Yeah, good. That's the way. Just try a little harder. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stump a mud hole in him. Even a cursed spirit. <laughs> Bruh. Sakuna ain't no fucking joke. We need to expand the evacuation area to 10 kilometers. What about you? I'll stay. I'm going to wait for Itadori. Understood. All right, let me get Kugasaki to the hospital. Then I'll come back here for you. Or they have a special sorcerer hospital. You know they got something like that. Because it'd be kind of difficult to explain these injuries to a regular hospital. Right. If one was around. I'll do my best. Later. Even if this goes south. If the worst case happens, I don't want him to die. Gojo, 
Can you save him? It will be my responsibility to end him. What you gonna do, bro? I think you got the power to end Sakuna. I don't think so. Surprisingly, you and I both are apparently classified as special grade. Good job. <laughs> and... Oh. Ray turned this nigga into an art piece. He's just playing with him right now. No, I was thinking, I was like, if he can regenerate, he should be able to regenerate. Exactly. You just keep trying. <laughs> Pleased with yourself, huh? You want praise now? But healing with cursed energy isn't all that difficult. It's a lot easier for cursed spirits than it is for humans. Neither you nor this punk whose body I'm in truly understand what curses really are. This is a good opportunity. So I will use it to show you exactly what real jujutsu is. Mm. Expansion. Triforce attack. Try beam. Malevolent shrine. Cool. Oh. You can turn this dude into sushi. Into three, but I guess you were weaker than I thought. Oh yeah, and then there's this. I will be mm. exactly. That's what it all boils down to. If somebody's eating one of those, it's over, you punk. And this is the thing that always happens whenever he defeats a demon. They have to worry about his ass. It's like a boss battle within another boss battle. Something wrong, Brett. Yeah. It's time to run wild, man. Well, well. Alright, guys. That was episode four. Curse Wound Must Die. And it seems like that little fetus grew into that monstrous, but like behemoth looking thing right there, which is oh. crazy because it had the personality of a little child, basically, that was just going on a rampage. Like that was a really good episode. One thing I noticed is like when the animation intensifies, particularly with the uh, curse uh, spirits, they have this thick outline on them. You know, it's very rough and thick and stuff, kind of like how, how it is right here. Mm -hmm. All of them have that, but that doesn't like happen to the human characters. Like, that is really cool how they do that because that lets you know that they're not of this world. They're just basically just like these spirit manifestations turned into like demons and stuff. So that's interesting. What else I find interesting is my boy Fushi Guru. Basically, he's, he can just summon up anything. He can summon up like frogs, different like animal uh, that's curses. a cool power to have. It's like, I still want to see the full extent of it, but that's a pretty cool power to have. Now he got the frog to eat her, but it saved her. And But it seems like once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, once they're gone, they're gone. So he ha probably has to like wait because it seems like when he got knocked back by that first uh, curse spirit up in the first episode, mm -hmm. like the things kind of turned into doo-doo butter mush. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like... <laughs> Like maybe that thing just needs to recuperate some cursed energy because uh, I think that's one of the things. Like if he doesn't have enough cursed energy, the things basically just wear off. So maybe. hopefully, you hopefully know, hopefully the dog comes back because he was one of my favorite characters. Yeah, me. exactly. Hopefully White Fang. That's what I'm gonna call him. The White Fang. He's basically Kakashi. I'm gonna call him that. Hopefully he does come back in some shape or form or a lot stronger because that was such a cute little dog, man. And yeah, when they have the little animation of him petting him and stuff. I'm yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, dog. man. Like, that's crazy, but... Yeah, but no, that... This episode was... It was surprising. I wasn't expecting it to go this way. Like, to be such a powerful demon. I'm like... If that dude is... I wanted to see the teacher go at this dude. We're not going to see the teacher go at it because like, he's actually putting these kids up the yeah, task to the make them stronger. Yeah, that's the thing I was stronger. thinking about. I was like, these are tests, so of course It would be nothing for my boy Gojo to just come in and just wreak havoc. Something tells me like when he takes that blindfold off, it's over. Like, he's hiding something. I was thinking about I'm like not that. sure if he, he's <laughs> doing that to just stay in the darkness or something like that or he's doing that for his own good. But once he take that shit off... I was man. imagining that. I was like, it's, that kind of reminds me of that dude from um, X-Men. Like Cyclops? I think so, yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of Kakashi from Naruto, because Kakashi, he got the Shari gun under there. 
kind of like Sasuke got. I know you ain't never seen, you ain't seen it all the episodes. Let us know if you want Jennifer to react to Naruto because she didn't. You wanna... don't. You don't. They do. Y'all don't. They do. You know they do. You don't. Give us 500 likes and I'll get Jennifer to react to Naruto. But yeah, man. Um, Give us uh no. Yeah, Gojo. He's gonna come in handy one day, and just not now. Have to restart the whole thing and watch the uh, over. No, we'll 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 skip past that since we already saw uh, Zabuza. Yeah, but let's get back on topic, man. Anyway. Yeah, it's like it's crazy. We're already in episode four, and we're facing these top tier S class like. Yeah, that's what I like spirits. about this show. This is, I'm actually kind of I don't know. I think I'm enjoying this. I don't know. I think I'm equally enjoying this as much as Black Clover. Well, you know, to Black Clover's defense, the fans say it starts off slow. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of comments saying that, that it starts off slow. So I kind of expected that. But I'm liking, like, I think, I kind of could say I enjoy them equally because I really, really feel for the characters mm. and just the journey for that show. But for this show, I'm living for the action, yeah. for the who's the next baddie that we're going to beat up, you know? And you know, one thing about this show compared to um, Black Clover is Black Clover is on one of those kind of budgetary kind of shows. Like, it has like a certain budget and they're only going to go out and pull out all the stops once they get to one particular action sequence from the manga. And that's when the action just really intensifies and the animation goes up. But with this one... This animation is on point. Yeah, MAPPA, MAPPA is known for just going balls to the wall. But the only downside to that is I think that they have shorter seasons. It's kind of like One Punch Man. Mm. Where you're not going to be given the luxury of having a longer season because the animation costs so much money. And they're going to have to go back to the drawing boards. Even um, My Hero is like that, you know, because they have... Uh, I'm not mistaken, Bones or somebody like that does the animation for them. So it's just one of those things that's always going to be like a compromise. But I think since we have watched it so late, we still have like a whole thing of like episodes to go. So I am excited, guys. Johnny's excited. It seems like she really, this could become no, one of I her am. favorite. Yeah, it's it's good. It's, well, it's going to become one of my favorites. It might. It might. I it mean, might. No, it, we're no, just four no, episodes just, in, so we yeah, still have Yeah, I have to, to really go. get there because I could say, like, one of my favorites, which is, you know, Epo, I'm, I'm, he didn't become one of my favorites to, like, the end of the first season, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think you just enjoy that cast of characters. I do. I, I enjoy the, the English voice actors. I enjoy just the whole thing. But, no, um, I don't know. It could be. It really could. I, I really enjoy it. So far, um, I don't know. It's not up there with like Full Metal Alchemist, though. Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist being, like it's... one of my favorites. But like I said, we're only four episodes in, so yeah, I'm gonna give it. A we're only four episodes in, so we're gonna let it build it up, yeah, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Slow burn, no chaser. You know what it is, guys. Uh, but anyways, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Are you feeling this reaction? And how are you liking Jujutsu Kaisen? Do, does it really just fulfill your every need when it comes to these the we're watch today? supernatural anime? Yeah, this is we're only watching two, two per, you know, reaction. You see what I gotta go through, guys? This is what I'm talking about, man. We gotta make sure. <laughs> it's like the show is so good that sometimes you just don't want to stop. Man, look. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, guys, we're going to go ahead and close it out here. Uh, by the time this episode reaction has been uploaded, the other two reactions, which is uh, episodes five and six, will already be up on Patreon for only $5 a month. So if you guys want to go ahead and get those early access uh, tier, hit us with the five bones and you will have early access to Jujutsu Kaisen, which is another thing that we're going to be watching from now on. And we're also doing a poll for uh, openings to react to, so be sure to check that out for only a dollar. And if you want the full version of unedited uh, episode reaction to this, you can do the $10 tier. But yeah, guys. Uh, what? Well, I was going to say, I don't want to forget to thank our patrons. Thank our subscribers. Yeah, thank our subscribers. And thank our patrons, but... If you do subscribe to our Patreon, your name will appear somewhere on the screen. Yeah, your name will appear in the screen and be immortalized in this video, man. So, yeah, shout outs to all you guys, even the people that don't, you know, subscribe to the Patreon. We, everything matters, man. Like, right. even the people that just follow us. Because exactly. without an audience, we wouldn't be able to get into the, anybody. the algorithm or just get uh, people to watch. Right. So We appreciate you. Yeah, we appreciate we you guys dearly. You. We love you. Even though some of y'all hate us. 
which you know like hey it is what it is man we still love you because you spend your time watching our beautiful faces right right man some of you haters out there y'all couldn't see me like a ps5 but it is what it is but <laughs> yeah you almost hit me in the eye <laughs> um all right booker t right yeah but yeah. um yeah we will catch you guys later man this is we ain't seen the reactions peace out